What did I put on here to yap about? What did I miss? What did I put this? What did I put on here for? Hold on. Mr. Beast's girlfriend said. Wait, is this his, is this Mr. Beast's girlfriend or is this his ex? This is his ex girlfriend. What is she? Oh God, I'm sure. Uh, here we go. Here we go. She about to come out and say a bunch of like. Ooh. Nah, I'm about to say woke. She's about to say a bunch of spiritual type of stuff. What's she talking about? I've spent years, years being quiet. Hold on. No, I need good music for this. Hold on. Hold on. We need good music. We need different music for this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's what we need for this. I've spent years, years being quiet. Never acknowledging that time in my life. Just quietly cheering on those who I saw mistreated. I don't want drama. I don't want anything. I just want to speak up for my 19 year old self. 19 to 21 are formative years. And as a young woman, it impacted the way I saw myself, the way I interpreted my future and how I trusted men. <laughs> there was no user manual. There was no instructions on how to deal with gaining a following quickly. No cheat sheet on a dating. Oh, hold on, I fucked up, hold on. <laughs> no cheat sheet on dating someone famous. I did the best I could, but I was not okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. Months of therapy. So many journal entries, long talks with my mom. How do I still feel like it was all for nothing? I believe that I should be used as a cautionary tale. If something is too good to be true, it probably is. And how he treats other women will ultimately be how he treats you. You are smart, beautiful, capable of a career. Hold on. <laughs> You are smart, beautiful, and capable of a career, life, and relationship you are proud of. You are, woman. Hear you roar. Roar. I do not aim to take anyone down. Then why the fuck did you write this message? Like, for real. Just simply and explicitly tell you that there are scary people out there. No shit. People will hurt you, use you, spit you out and then tell you it's your fault. Well, sometimes it is your fault, you know, but we don't want to talk about that. You know, people don't want to take accountability for what they do, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> it's all of our jobs to protect our friends, our moms, our wives, our sisters, our daughters, ourselves. You hear me? Ourselves. From people like that, if you see something not cool, you speak up. <laughs> Just as I have. <sighs> Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a round of applause. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. My question is, who the fuck asked her about, it? like, why did you even come out? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, this is what I don't under what I don't understand. Why is it that every time, so, and I'm not, I'm not defending Mr. Beast because he's got a lot of shit going on. I'm not defending it. But why is it anytime somebody does something? <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> why is it anytime, anytime? a dude does something all these like all his ex-girlfriends come out the woodwork and he was such a terrible person oh my god just just the the agony i can't believe it and then then they got to start talking about how you know we need to protect ourselves as women then why didn't you break up with him <laughs> well maybe you did but why are you talking now like what you're trying to do at least in my opinion my opinion is what she's trying to do is she's trying to capitalize on it. She's trying to get people to go look at her Instagram or whatever. Like, nobody cares what you got to say, honestly. I want to hear what his actual girlfriend has to say. That's what I really want to know. 
What else I got on here? Huh. Dr. Disrespect. Oh my. Yes. Hold on. Mm -mm. Hold on. Hold on. We got. We got a freaky ass nigga alert. Hold up. Mm -mm. Another one. No freaky ass nigga. Think for fame only. Exactly. Like. Nobody asked you what you thought about what's going on with your ex-boyfriend. You, that's your ex-boyfriend. Go live your life. What did, hold on. What did she say in this shit? What was one of the things that she said? I believe I should be used as a cautionary tale. Who asked you? Who are you? What do you mean you should be used as a cautionary tale? We don't know you. You just came out the woodwork talking about how, you know, shit, like years of being quiet. Because nobody asked you. Who cares about what you got to say? While, while I read your stuff. <laughs> uh, what, did, what did Dr. Disrespect do here?